Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. In this note, I want to show you a gimmick within WebStorm that lets you open HTML files as handlebars templates. And what I mean by that, let's explore that at an example. So if you go to Future Studio Launch and create a new server, you will see options. Let me just go to the view. You will see options that allow you to install MySQL or RethinkDB while provisioning the server. So if you select MySQL, we want you to receive the MySQL root username and password within the email. But if you don't select MySQL while provisioning the server, you don't need any credentials and there won't be any credentials. So there's like a condition when rendering the email, you will receive a server launched email after the server is provisioned correctly. And within the email, we have a handlebars block that selects whether you have MySQL installed or not. If you don't have any MySQL on the server, you don't want the block within the email which shows you the username and the password. So we have a regular HTML file for the email which has the styling and the greeting and the message and the credentials for your server. And what we don't have is a proper syntax highlighting. So there's an inner monk in me that wants this block here indented correctly, but it isn't because we don't have any syntax highlighting for handlebars with the HTML files, but handlebars got you covered. So open the branches, which you can do with command comma and type handlebars. So you will see all the options where handlebars are allowed and you need to go down here to the languages and frameworks and there you go. There's a highlighted checkbox that tells you open HTML files as handlebars templates. And that's what you want to do. Check it, apply it, and set OK. And now you've probably seen that the color changed from white to, what is it, pink or purple. And now you can auto-format the code, you get the correct syntax highlighting, you get the code indent, which is really nice and it isn't that distracting as a programmer, you know, if it isn't indented correctly, you're getting crazy. All right, that's it. Enable it for HTML files. We get the correct code indent for HTML files with handlebars templates and tags inside. And that's really nice. So have a nice day, enjoy coding and make it rock.